Hi, I'm Nick Bailock and Parking News for Monday the 21st of November. Today on the show, a scholar's spectrum and football fails made fun. This is fun. Not gonna get me through a million views on the internet though. Unfortunately. What if it did? You guys would have very low standards. Don't adjust the camera while I'm in the middle of the bit. All right, here's what made headlines over the weekend. And first up, Australian design school CG Spectrum has announced a scholarship program for prospective students. A lot of big words in that sentence. Wouldn't get that scholarship. The school, which specializes in visual effects, programming, and animation, has put forward $500,000 in scholarship funds in an effort to foster new talent. This figure has been reached through partnerships with film and game studios, such as Weta and League of Geeks, with the scholars getting direct mentorship from these industry professionals. Applications for the first round of scholarships close on the 14th of December, so if you're interested, jump over to their website and apply. There's a link to the website! Below, and while we're talking about six-figure sums, there's been another massive haul for charity. In an annual challenge called the Desert Bus for Hope, the Loading Ready Run team streamed a 159-hour trip across the great nation of America. Enduring a week of exhausting boredom, they received a slew of generous donations which came in just under 700,000 US dollars. All of these donations will go to the children's charity, Child's Play. Next up, and Halo's studio head, Josh Holmes, is moving on to independent pastures. And that is Josh Holmes, not Josh Home of Queens of the Stone Age. Holmes joined 343 Industries in 2009 and worked as an executive producer on Halo Reach and the Waypoint Community app. Whereas Home in 2009 had just formed a supergroup called Them Crooked Vultures, with Dave Grohl of Nirvana and the Foo Fighters and the legendary John Paul Jones, who found quick fame in the late 1960s with a little band called Led Zeppelin. Overnight, Holmes announced in a blog post that his time with the Halo series was up, saying, quote, I have loved every moment here on Halo, but I find myself drawn to new horizons. This month, I'm leaving 343 Industries and excited for my next adventure to pursue independent game development. Which, incidentally, is the same sentiment Holmes shared when he and the Vultures went on hiatus, but rather than make indie games, he went and played with Eagles of Death Metal. Looking to the future, Holmes has not specified where he is headed to pursue his indie dream, though there there is speculation that he may want to start his own studio, as many former Halo developers have done in the past. But Holmes' future is less uncertain, as earlier this year he confirmed that the Queens of the Stone Age were working on a new album for release sometime next year. I look forward to whatever Holmes and Home do next. Moving on now, and PSVR is getting timely accolades. Time Magazine has listed Sony's VR device in their annual list of best inventions of the year. And while many would argue that the headset's competitors are much better at pulling off what VR is trying to achieve, Time hailed PSVR as reigning champion because of its affordability and accessibility for the millions who already own a PlayStation 4. Congratulations PSVR, you are as important as the sweet potato that can save lives and the artificial pancreas. And those PS4 owners might appreciate some of the trailers that have dropped over the weekend. And those people who needed an artificial pancreas will probably appreciate the pancreas. The Last Guardian received a new cinematic trailer as a promise that the game will not be delayed again before its December 6th release date. Which means it's totally gonna get delayed again. And Tekken 7 got a new trailer to remind us that it actually exists. Because apparently there's a new Tekken game dropping early next year. Drop the ball on that one time! Alright, now it's time for the other day. It's not really a new invention, Tekken's just a little older than I am. Is it? When did Tekken come out? Tekken. Oh, how depressing is that? Hold it. Hold. 1994! Ah, oh, Eight years older than Tekken. <laughs> The football pros at F2 Freestylers have imitated art, imitating life, by recreating FIFA 17's glitches in real life.
right, that is it for Pocket News today. My Pocketeers, do you want to see a man imitating a man who knows what games are coming out this week? Then check out This Week in Games, which is on the Pocket YouTube channel this afternoon. Also, there's a new episode of the Good Game podcast up for your ears. Get a bit of insight from the editors of Good Game, Andy and Paul, and hear from our pantless ballerina, Goose. Throw up the gif! All right, take it away. I can't look at it anymore. There are all the links a little podcaster could desire in the description below. Are you a little podcaster? Are you a pantless ballerina? Let us know in the Pocketeers Facebook group and Steam group. Today's Think of the Day graphic was sent in by Matthew Dyerson. And Matthew, we all thought as we were watching it, 90% of it, we were like, oh yeah, this one's okay. And then boom, Sonata. You pulled it up there at the end. If you've made a thing, please send it in to an ex my Pocketeers Nick by M. Sonata! I love it because every time I yell Sunita, I hear her chair and she starts walking towards the door and then she hears me continuing talking. She's like, oh, he's just acting. He doesn't actually want my attention. See what? But now I do want her attention. Sunita! No, she won't come in. Sunita! What's it like being the most disappointing internet personality you know? Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. All right. That's it for today's episode of Ask Pocket. Wait, hang on a second. I'm not the most disappointing internet personality I know. We got him! I'm more of a TV personality, really. Whatever! Nick Boyard! Goose out. Fridays, yeah? You know, he's always there when we're filming. Pretty much. Just over here. <laughs>